tour a lot of homes and remodels all throughout the year. And I get a chance to talk to these builders and remodelers, as well as seeing what their clients are asking for. So I'd like to share with you what I believe are the top trends for bathrooms in 2024. Now let's start with the vanities. In the past, nearly every home I would go into would be white vanities, no matter what the remodel or the home. But now, even though white still is popular and it is in a lot of the homes, I'm seeing a big move over to warmer, more organic looks. You're seeing a lot of vanities with light wood stain, beautiful look by the way. Some folks are even doing lighter painted cabinets. It might be a light gray, some even maybe a little bit darker shade and then go with the white vanity top. But still, there is a move away from white to a nice warmer tone with color. Now the plumbing fixtures, I'm seeing a lot of black matte finishes on the faucets, as well as some gold, and the gold actually looks good. Some folks are even mixing and matching the two with the light fixtures and the plumbing fixtures. Now staying around the vanity area, let's talk about the mirrors. Most of the homes or models I'm seeing now, people are putting as large of a mirror as possible in there. They're going full height mirrors, taking up most of the wall if they can. I feel that it gives a sense of more space in, in a bathroom, which is typically smaller of a room, and it helps reflect the lighting from the lights above. Now, even if they choose to put a tower in, they're still trying to have larger mirrors that have much more height to them. And again, I think it's a nice look. It opens up the space, makes it feel larger. And as for the lighting above the vanity, I'm seeing more of an industrial look being installed everywhere. They're using the black matte finish or that or gold. It goes along with the plumbing fixtures and hardware. But the industrial look seems to be pretty popular right now and I'm seeing a lot of people selecting that in their homes or in their remodel projects. And I'm also seeing some sconces being installed, which I, I think that's a pretty cool look. Now let's talk about the showers. This is probably the biggest change I'm seeing in bathrooms. Folks are starting to put in larger walk-in showers. Nearly every home or remodel I see, people are expanding that shower if they can. Some are even getting rid of the tub and going with a full uh, super shower, they're calling it. And what I'm seeing is the elimination of a curb on the shower. People are going with either, it's called curbless showers, but or no threshold. It's a nice, smooth step into the shower. I personally like the look. Also, I think it's smart when you age in place in a home as well. And with these larger showers, nearly every single one has a seat. People are really wanting that seat in the shower. Niches or even ledges, very popular, almost a necessity for all the soaps and shampoos and things you need in the shower. It's nice to have that space for it. And I also think it adds a nice designer feel to it. You can do a lot of things with the tiles when you start adding niches and ledges. Now, as for the plumbing fixtures in the shower, I'm seeing multiple shower heads, not necessarily the rain head showers. That's, those are still there, but mainly it's the main shower head along with probably a handheld sprayer. And the last thing I wanna mention about the showers is the tile. A lot of the tiles that are now being put into homes and people are selecting for the remodel projects seem to be larger format tiles. They might be putting 12 by 24s in or something of that nature, but the idea is less grout lines, cleaner look. And then by doing so, they're gonna usually put a contrasting, more decorative tile. Maybe it's in those niches. Maybe it's a little stretch of the wall to add a little designer feature. Now the tile choices tend to be a little lighter, beige, warm tones again. They might even put hints of the gold in there if they choose to do gold plumbing fixtures. But again, a move towards a warm, but still light and bright. Let's talk about tubs. Now, it's still highly popular to have a tub in the primary bath. They tend to be used as a focal point in, in the bathroom. Nice freestanding soaker tub. But I have seen folks wise up. Now they're making it adjacent to a wall where they can put a niche or have a ledge there so they can still put all their essentials for the bath right near them. These freestanding tubs didn't really have a place for that and people might have to put a tray over typically. But now they're starting to design in like I said, niches and ledges. 
Now for the flooring tiles, I'm seeing the same kind of thing that we saw with the shower tiles. Larger format tiles, maybe 12 by 24, or even larger on the flooring. And they're doing this primarily because it's less grout lines, it's a nice clean look. And for the colors, I'm seeing the same kind of trend like what we saw with the vanities, I'm seeing with the flooring. Lighter tones, more organic, warm. So you're seeing beiges and creams with just lighter overall patterns and color waves. Now, one of the remodelers I was talking to is saying he's starting to see a little bit more of the porcelain tiles that look like wood. It's a nice look, gives you the rustic feel, the warm tones, but unlike regular wood, since the bathroom is a wet area, the porcelain gives you that durability and that ability to handle the moisture. And there you have it. That's my opinion on what's happening in bathroom trends for 2024. And again, that's based off of what these builders are seeing customers ask for, as well as their modelers, what they're installing for customers. So this is on the ground actions of what people are currently doing and currently looking for. And hope that helps you and gave you a little inspiration. Thanks for watching.